to your just in time. Okay, Wednesday. Wednesday. Here's a thought. Ask yourself, when someone interacts with us, how do you leave them feeling after that interaction? Do they feel joyous or do they feel annoyed? Do they feel happy or do they feel drained? What impact do we leave people from just a very normal interaction? It can be a one hour conversation or it could be a quick 30 seconds. My first time um, buying eight, meter, eight millimeter film, I've shot 35 millimeter and 60 millimeter uh, in film school for uh, film projects and digital, of course, but this is my first time shooting eight, super eight millimeter. Uh, I've never seen what it looks like. Film right there. All right, it's good to go. So today's a special night. Uh, we have our film ready to document the occasion for posterity. We still have to buy one thing, so we got, have to go get some treats. Today should be fun. A little somber, but it should be fun. This is my Taco Bell story. I went to the Advanced Auto Parts, which is a car parts store, and next to it, there's a Taco Bell. I haven't been to Taco Bell in months, several months, maybe even a year. And, uh, you know, I always love myself a good crunchy Taco Supreme, a few of them, uh, chicken quesadilla, or uh, if I'm feeling a little extra, a spicy potato soft taco. Anyway, so I go in, you know, not expecting much. It's a Taco Bell, a run down Taco Bell, go in through the drive through thinking about my order should I just get one taco or should I get five tacos so I pull up to the speaker microphone station and I'm greeted with this very courteous voice uh, I think his name was Kurt he greeted me with something like uh, hey good morning my name is Kurt how are you doing today a very like genuine tone and it, it took me back a little bit because he, he just kind of shocked me with niceness that was the whole energy I got from him and uh, so I'm like stumbling my order because I was taken aback he asked me how I was and I you know who the hell asks you how you are on a freaking drive through of a fast food joint so I'm like saying oh good thank you uh, but I didn't really elaborate but I should have because when he asked me, when someone asks you how you are, you know, some people just put the question there as a common courtesy, but they don't really mean it. And so other people really mean, they really want to know how you are. And, and this was a very genuine, hey, how are you doing today? So I proceed with my order, I go ahead, I grab my food, some, some other attendant hands me my bag. And I took a peek inside and I see the guy with the headset and uh, it's an older gentleman. And was talking to another person in the drive through same courteous, uh, warm voice. Uh, this gentleman was probably in his 70s, I would say, 75, gray hair. Really nice guy. Like, uh, I don't know much about him, but based on that short 10 second interaction, it, it was such a great experience. Uh, I left the drive through of a freaking Taco Bell feeling very good, like feeling 
positive and cared for, uh, you know, by a complete stranger. And that got, that got me thinking for a while. I just thought about all the people that have this very nice, just natural, genuine, happy personality. And not happy in a toxic positivity way, but they're just nice. There's something in their voice and how they, uh, I don't know what the word is, but something in their elocution and their delivery. They just have a really good demeanor. And I just started thinking about all those people, people that I know or random strangers that I interacted with, like this gentleman at the Taco Bell drive through Holy shit, so hot. All right, so I got some goodies. I got some snacks for tonight. And um, these are very good chocolates. Uh, Lagerac, Lagerac. Uh, says chocolates, when you purchase a luxury item, some brands, they slap a high ticket price. They just call themselves luxury. Like, luxury should be about good product, uh, yes, there's a little like aspirational value that you do pay for But also the another important thing is attention to details. They gave me since I was since I have to uh, travel uh, Like 30 minutes They gave me this uh, cooler bag for free. Uh, I appreciate that they give you the the cooler bag and Then they give you a uh, an ice pack. So that's a really good good detail It's not like I was intending to leave uh, chocolates in the car while I when while out and about but again small details i really appreciate it makes me want to go back makes me want to keep uh buying their products so yeah now uh we go now we head out to our uh to our little goodbye shenanigan it's not really a party but it's it's one last trivia hurrah with our friend <laughs> This is our dear friend, Marcella. Marcella with two L's. She's one of those individuals who leave a trail of goodwill wherever she goes. Whether a short talk or a long one, doesn't matter. You can engage in a genuine back and forth conversation with her. You can discuss contentious subjects civilly. She laughs in a way that catches and spreads around. She's incredibly intelligent, wise and thoughtful. And in my eyes, she's more than just a great human being. She's a role model. Press the trigger. Press the trigger. But don't go crazy on it. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is the last of her regular trivia nights. She's leaving a thousand miles away. A new life awaits for her there. is light, happy, but with a pinch of somberness. Our friend is leaving, but she leaves behind her a trail, an imprint of her goodness, and that we will remember.
But for tonight, here we are. Riding on a sugar high from the chocolates and maintaining a measured tipsiness from the adult beverages. A splendid night, another one for the books. There we go, we're hugging it out. Here we go. Oh. We're only gonna see you four times a year. Why you gotta be like this?